You're really becoming a thorn in my side. I just may have to get rid of you permanently. You won't be able to do it, Blake. Your conscience won't let you. You left me in here to die. You threatened to kill my children. I wouldn't be so sure, Tori. You know, I was speaking to a shrink today, and she said it's amazing what awful things people can do when they're pushed. Would you stop clutching your stomach like that? It really hurts, Blake. Oh, poor Tori. You have a little boo-boo. Blake, I feel like someone's sticking a knife in my gut. Yeah, well, you were perfectly healthy until I turned the tables on you, and now you have a stomach ache. Don't insult me, please. You ignore this. You'll get your wish. I swear I'll die here right in front of you. You know, Tori, take some acting lessons. You were so much more convincing before. <laughs> there. Well, has anybody checked the airport again? What about, what about, listen, just call me back, all right? Just stay on top of it, please. Still no sign of Tony. <laughs> he is someplace. I know he is someplace obvious. We're just not looking there. Right. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Look, my day's over. I'm clocking out. No, well, my day is over. I'm clocking out. Oh. Want to have, maybe grab a bite or something? Are you going to tell me that I look pretty? I'm all dressed up. I'm going to Rick and Mel's engagement party. Oh, yeah, no, you look nice. It's nice. Okay, you know, what time do we have to be there? Thanks. Well, I thought about asking you, but this is my reasoning. Danny will be there. And I figured yeah. since we just busted him, the two of us, it might be a little much. So, I, oh. Because I could have said, you know, I was going to thank Rick for not falling in love with you so that I could. Well, someday. Okay, that's good. You win. You can come. Yeah? But you have to be on your best behavior. Okay. No problems. Okay. In public, and while we're with Danny, yeah. not a word about Tony. No, no. zippity doo -dah. No. Good. Hi, Lynn. Put it on our bill. The role of Remy Boudreaux is now being played by Gavin Houston. That was a nice entrance you made there, sweetheart. Well, I'm still <laughs> capable of a few surprises. You know, that's where you get it from, though, son. I'm the spontaneous parent. Oh, oh. right. <laughs> spontaneous. <laughs> Thanks. So, what do I call you now? My almost sister-in-law? Intended sister-in-law? I don't know. How about just plain old family? Works with me. Uh, <laughs> speaking of family, where's your Aunt Maida? She's in Nova Scotia, of all places. Oh. She's, she's visiting a friend who's ill. Oh, excuse me, more guests. Sure. Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. 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 You just missed your daughter. Mara was here. Yes, yes, she was. She had to go study, though, I think. I didn't even know Rick had asked her. Well, I don't think he did. I mean, not that he wouldn't have. She, uh, she came with Romeo Jones. I think Danny might have invited him. And I wasn't too thrilled about it either. Romeo's still looking for Mara. Well, I hope she found Tony. We better keep playing with this guy just in case. Oh, man, I'd love to just take him out back uh, right uh, now. Uh, uh, and... Is that any way for a law-abiding citizen to speak, Danny? Even with a party guest could be a murderer? We're not 100% sure until we are. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, 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 son, hey. are you sure that you saw Mara go upstairs? Yeah, sure. Well, maybe she came back down. It's possible. We didn't notice. Yeah. So maybe she's in the kitchen. Hey, you know what? First things first. Uh, I want to introduce you to some local business types that we need to make nice with. Come with me. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Hi, Josh. Good to see you. Hey. Hey. Hey.
I was afraid that you wouldn't come. Well, why should I write? You said you wanted nothing more to do with me. Uh, Mara, I had to say that. Why? Why do you think? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I mean, first, you tell me that you killed Catalina, and I refuse to believe you. But you make me. You tell me the most horrible things. That you don't love me, that you've never loved me. Mara. Then, then you voluntarily confess to her murder, and you don't lift a finger to defend yourself. And out of the blue, you do a complete 180 at the courthouse and fake a heart attack, escape custody, but do you run away like a guilty person would do? No. No, you go straight to Inferno, looking for what? For you. And then I catch you with, with Romeo? And you, you would, what was that garbage you were feeding me that, that, that you're with him now? And then you, then you tried to hide me from the cops. Don't I, try to change the subject. I'm not. The point is, you say that you're guilty, but you're not acting like a guilty person. And now you've gotten Ray involved. No, you got Ray involved. You started asking questions, Mara. You started snooping around. So answer them. Answer them. Tell me, please, what's going on. Tell me the truth. Did you or didn't you kill Catalina? You know the answer to that, too. <laughs> Stop talking in riddles. If you didn't do it, then why sign a confession? Because I was protecting somebody. You were. So you didn't do it. You didn't, right? It wasn't you? I didn't kill Catalina. God, I knew it. I, I knew you didn't do it. So who, all this time, have you been protecting? You. CBS Daytime has done it again. Fantastic. With an outstanding 55 Emmy nominations. Can you believe it? Congratulations on another year of continued excellence. I think we should all drink to that. There's never been a better time to get into CBS, the number one daytime network. You ain't seen nothing yet. Did you understand that? Marina, you see this you know, this beautiful, this beautiful house? Yeah. Your your Aunt Harley could have been the one moving into this house if you played her cards right. Are you kidding me? You didn't want Harley to marry Rick because she didn't love Rick. I was wrong. A loveless marriage of Rick would be ten times better than that twisted love addiction she has going on with that turn. That's disgusting. It's disgusting to see. It's disgusting you know, to be around. You know. It's just disgusting. Hi. Hi. It's the Cooper Reed contingency. Hi. Where's, uh, where's uh, Frankie? Oh, Dad got called to the station on a case. He said he's really sorry. He's going to call you tomorrow. Oh, will you tell Frank I'm deeply disturbed by this? <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> deeply disturbed. <laughs> yes. Hi, Bill. Hey, how you doing? Congratulations. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Congratulations. Okay. Pass these around. Excuse me, whatever happened to Honey, please. Oh, well, you want to tell me why you invited Romeo here again? Oh, you didn't tell me in the first place. Michelle, I will later. No, I promise. Danny, now. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, I couldn't possibly have another. They're just so rich. <laughs> hey, Philip. Uh, it's okay. I think the family's had the court. I'll just watch. <laughs> Marina's here. It's not. Oh, Marina again. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> she's older, and then Lizzie looks up to him. Yeah, I shouldn't look up to her too much. But I understand she's been nothing but trouble since she's been done. Oh, I guess it won't matter soon. Why do you say that? Uh, well, Buzz told me that uh, Lainey's going back to L.A., so I assume, you know, once school's out, she'll go back with him. You're staying in Springfield? Oh, yeah. My dad said yes. Thanks to my Aunt Harley. I don't know, though. We still have to talk to my mom about it, and even if she says yes, it's not definite. It's like I have to be on probation or something all summer. Probation? Yeah, it's like I have to earn my way back into the family. How are you supposed to do that? By being a team player. I don't know. I guess I, like, have to do nice stuff for people. Anyway, I already know who I'm going to help. Who? Harley. 
like she got me out of a jam, so I'm going to return the favor. Lord knows she needs it. You were trying to protect me by lying to me, by pushing me away. How is that protecting me? The cops needed a suspect, and who better than a Santos? I don't, I don't understand. Mara. What? I don't. Don't make me say it, please. Say what? When I walked into my bedroom that night, uh, and I saw you lying there near Catalina's body, you were you were out cold. You had, you had, you had blood on you, and the statue, the murder weapon, it was near your hand. And when you came to, you were hysterical, Mara. You started babbling about how how you and Catalina had gone to a fight. And then then you couldn't remember anything, so. So, you were afraid that the police would think that I did it. That's how it looked. To them or to you. I only knew what I saw in front of me. I had a split second to react tomorrow. You actually thought that I did it? You thought that I killed her? You actually thought that I was capable of killing someone? I only know what I saw, all right? That's, that's all I know. So when did you figure out that... That you, you didn't do it? Mara, when you started asking questions, when you started poking around, and that's, that's the second you put yourself in danger, baby. So this whole time, you... You were only thinking of me? You came to Inferno and you broke out to protect me? Yeah. The killer is still out there. And if they think you know something that you shouldn't know, Mara, then... Hey, 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 are you, are you listening to me? Look at me. You gotta leave this alone. Now. If anything happens to you, I'm... This whole time you were thinking of me? You were willing to go to prison? For life, or maybe worse, for me? You made the most incredible sacrifice. I never stop loving you, Mara. I never will. So all this time we've been undermining each other, working at cross purposes. If only we could have just talked honestly once. Oh my God. Hey, 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 look at me. We're talking now. Is it? Nothing. That, that has been done, that can't be undone. Look, it's like you told Ray. There was someone else in that house. That's who the killer was. And as soon as I find them, everything's no. gonna... No. Yes, everything's gonna... No, be okay. nothing is ever gonna be okay again. For you and your lovely fiance. There's what she sees in you, I'll never know. Well, thank you. And it's, uh, it's really too bad that your better half couldn't be here. And I mean that sincerely. The better half better part. Half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, darling. Congratulations. Thank you. Found a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and so did you, so you behave. I'll try. Okay, so where's your mother? I want to say hi. Um, I think she's she's right over there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh.
You're a racking up on the loot here, kid. Yes. <coughs> Really hanging on, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think my aging body can take all this excitement. <laughs> you know, if you two are here to harass me a little more, there's the door. Well, we didn't harass you in the first place. We had a legitimate beef. Since when is it a crime to give a police officer a lift? Oh, I don't know. Maybe when that police officer is really your cousin. Hey, you know what, guys? Let's not do this here. Okay, it's a party, right? Michelle, hey, uh, we're not going to stay long. I just want to say hi to Rick. Why not? Stay as long as you like. We've got all sorts of people at this party. Some almost less popular than you, Gus. I doubt it. You know, I was hoping to see Ross here. Oh, he's going to be sorry he missed this. But I'm sure when things settle down, we can do something normal, like maybe have dinner. Oh, oh that would be great. Yeah. In the meantime, I was wondering if I could steal your, your wife for just a minute. You may borrow her for a minute while I go get a drink. Fair enough. <laughs> so how's your pitch go? My pitch? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, my pitch for my book. Um, well, it was postponed, which is a good thing, because I have a few more plot points to figure out, and I was wondering if I could get more help from you. I'm going to have to charge you, Blake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Pick my brain. OK, well, it, it, it's still all about the main character of this book. The woman who's perfectly adjusted, and then something happens to her, and it pushes her over the edge, and she becomes violent? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, at one point, I want her to get sick. You're really putting this poor woman through the mill. Mm, well, I just can't figure out what kind of sick to make her. I, I have this image of her writhing around, clutching her stomach. Oh, that's charming. Yeah, but the pains are very intense. They come very quickly. It's like a, a, a knife in her gut. And, and do you have any idea what would cause something like that? You'd be better off asking Mel or Rick. They're MDs. Yeah, well, they're busy. <laughs> you went to medical school. Come on. Can you just give me a couple of obvious causes off the top of your head? All right. Uh, acute abdominal pain, probably appendicitis, colitis, maybe an ulcer. OK, what kind of um, fast fix could you prescribed for the character, you know, just to initially ease your pain until she can get a test or whatever. Probably a diazepam. It's a muscle relaxant. Diazepam? Yes. Now, is that something that would be in a doctor's bag? Like, for instance, if I had the doctor make a house call to this character, would he just naturally have this muscle relaxant with him? Probably, honey. Okay, everybody, attention now, attention, please be uh -oh. quiet. Class is in Hi. session. <laughs> Everybody, get a glass here. I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I don't know. You know, on my way uh, up here, I, I had a lot of time to think about what I was gonna say about my daughter and now that she was making this important decision in her life. Well, and what can I say that you don't already see right there in front of you? Her beauty and her brilliance and her kind heart and... Dad. And, well... <laughs> wait a minute, young lady now. You still have to listen to me every now and then. You know, Felicia and I, we, we have a blessed life. We really do. We, we have our love for each other and our work. Two children that we love and admire more than life itself. <laughs> Two children that we've raised to be strong, and make choices, and stick with them. Even so, I uh, would have hoped that my daughter would have come to me before she made such an important choice in her life, but she didn't. <laughs> And uh, anyone who knows me knows I might have a thing or two to say about the uh, turn of events. Huh? Actually, honey, I think you expressed yourself a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Rick, I always liked you. And then you started dating my daughter. <laughs> and then all I could think about was your bad taste in clothes, oh. Oh. mediocrity oh. on the basketball court. Oh. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a toast? <laughs> <laughs> but I decided that there is one thing that you will be very good at, and that is being a husband to my daughter. Congratulations for seeing that my daughter is a very special young lady. To Rick and Melisande. Here, 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 here. Love here. and happiness forever. Thanks, Clayton. I am. Um. Oh, Rick. my God. Rick! Hey. 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 Hey.
Just, I'm just a little dizzy from this flu bug. That's all, you guys. That's all. Right. Okay, we'll just stay here until the dizziness subsides. Okay? Just relax. Try to catch your breath. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. For something, you know, oh, smelling yeah. salts or um here, 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 here. I just feel so helpless. Uh-huh. How's it going, detective? Mm. Well, I need a drink after all this. <clears throat> but I could do a little better if you've got something to tell me about where your missing pal is. I don't have a clue, man. I don't. But wherever he is, I hope he's far away. Why is that? I kind of hooked up with his ex, Mara. Tony's the jealous type. I don't want the guy busting down my door in the middle of the night, you know? So he's not only jealous, he's violent? Yeah, Sherlock. How do you think he got where he is? Well, I don't know. You want to tell me? No, he doesn't. Your fingers are really swollen. Is Rick okay? We don't know. Michelle, are you okay? I, I don't know. I don't know. My brother just collapsed on, on what's supposed to be one of the happiest days of his life. My my husband, who claims he's out of the mob, invites some two-bit criminal into my house, who I expressly asked him not to. Mich I gotta get this to Rick. Here, honey. Right. You stay put, okay? okay? I don't want you to move at all. Michelle, my phone is over there. Can oh, you hand yes. that to me? Yes. Do you see it? Thank you. I'm taking you to the hospital. The hospital? The hospital? Yes. I don't need to go to the hospital. No, no complaining, okay? Your your heart rate is through the roof. You're short of breath. You're weak. I don't know what's up with this edema. Phil, can you help take him to the car? Yeah, please? absolutely. Well, we, we, yeah, this is a party. We have our come Yes. Listen to the doctor. This is Dr. Boudreaux. Thank I you knew so you much. Were I'm admitting I someone. Yes. Anything to get attention. Thank you. Take it easy. Yeah. We'll be there. Hey, look, I promise you, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find out who this killer is, and when I do... I'm so stupid. Why didn't I just believe you, no matter what you said, and no matter what happened? Look, I pushed you away from me on purpose. I didn't give you a choice, right? No. I had a choice, and I made the wrong one. It's so wrong. Come in. Come in. Don't. Don't. I don't yeah. deserve this. I don't no, deserve no, no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, baby, I am so... Sorry, I will never lie to you again. You know how much I love you? Do you? I can't sleep at night. I'm so worried. Whether you're safe or not. Oh, you're everything to me, baby. Everything. Guess the party's over, huh? Blake, yeah. Mel's not an alarmist, is she? I mean, if she feels like Rick had to go to the hospital, there has to be a reason. Maybe he's just dehydrated. You know, he's he's had the flu for a while. He doesn't take care of himself. Maybe that's why he passed out. Did he have stomach pains? I don't know. Uh, just acute 
stomach pains. Maybe that's what it is. What? 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 What is what? Um. What? What? What's wrong with Rick? What are you talking about, Blake? Is there something you want to tell me? <sighs> I'm serious, okay? I've got an alleged suicide. I've got no body. I've got a documented animosity between you and the deceased. All right, we've been over this. I've got a witness who says the entire thing was fabricated. And let me tell you, a note showed up at the police station that we cannot trace, but it's from a friend of Tori's who says that if she, she told her if something happened to her, we better look at you. That's a blatant lie. Really? And how do you know that? Tori wrote a letter to a friend. Uh-huh. Tori has no friends. Has no friends? Present tense? Had. Had. You know what, Blake, since you won't talk to me as a friend, I want you down at the police station at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and we will go over this and over this until we sort things out. I can't, all right, Harley? I have something to do tomorrow. Well, reschedule. 9 a.m., sharp. Be there. Ugh. What are you doing? I'm helping clean up, Mr. Cooper. No, what are you doing with my daughter? Oh, Daddy, please, not this again. Uh, I didn't... He had started it on it. Yeah, just, I couldn't was... help it. I tried to hold back, but I couldn't. It's driving me crazy. He is so wrong for you. Really? Why don't you find a good man, someone like your brother? What? Yeah, Frank. I mean, instead of, you know, what did he do? Cast a spell on you? What is this? Well, thank you. I'm glad that you have so much faith in my judgment. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to be going because I don't like being spoken about when I'm still in the room. So. No. Yeah, no, no I don't, am going to go. It's okay. Don't. The party's already been uh, a bit of a disaster. I don't want to mar it anymore. So bye, Mr. Cooper. I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Gus, wait. I'm coming with you. Nicely done. Oh, yeah, it is definitely Aunt Harley. <laughs> Mel? Hey, I'm just gonna order some tests for Rick. Uh, I don't know if this will save you any trouble, but remember I did that exam on, on Rick for my PA class? Oh, that's right. And I have, you know, the basic blood work, BP, etc. Oh, great. This will save some time. Thank you, I Michelle. did note um, a few irregularities mm -hmm. that Rick and I both agreed were consistent with a viral infection, kind of like the bug that's going around. Right. General fatigue, weakness, cough, shortness of breath. Yeah, I've noticed that, too. And he said that that was because of the congestion. Right. He has mild edema. Now his heart rate's elevated, but his BP is low. That's strange, isn't it? And he has neck vein distension. You know what? I, I better listen to his chest again. Why? I just need to listen to his chest. Mal, you think this is more than a flu, don't you? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fall apart like that. Hey, crying is good sometimes. Get stuff out of your system. But Mara, I am going to make this right. I promise you. You just have to trust me, okay? I know, I know. It's a lot to, to be asking for. Of course I can trust you. But maybe... No. No buts. No, no, no. I'm gonna make this right. I am. Um, when I do, I'll be free. And then... We will be together. Nothing will stop us. We'll be together forever. Nothing is stopping us. Nothing. What? What's wrong? Huh? Where did you get this? Huh? Who gave you this? Uh, Romeo gave it to me. <clears throat> 
How did Romeo get this? I don't know. All I know is that Catalina was wearing it that night, and when we were fighting, I grabbed it off of her, and when I was unconscious, I had it in my hand. I know that I did, and when I woke up after she was dead, it was gone. So you think it was him? He was the other person in the house? Yeah, then? either it's him or he knows who the killer is. When you, when you went to the club with him and you were getting uh, with him, you were trying to make him slip up, right? Oh, damn it. You see, this is what I was afraid. This was, uh, this was what I was afraid was going to happen. What? You getting in way over your head. I'm not. I can handle <sighs> Romeo. No, you can't handle him. You think you can, but you, you don't know him like I do. You don't go near him again, all right? But, Tony, if he Mara, knows... I'm going to handle it, okay? Just don't go near him. You, what, why, do you, why do you think he's giving you gifts, huh? He's, he's got the hearts for you. And he wants something in return. And if you don't give it to him, Mara, he's not. He's not about taking it. Come on, Mara, pick up the phone. Where the hell is she? Hey, you two have helped plenty tonight, oh. really. I can I can handle the rest. Well, Thanks. Sure. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm positive. Thanks a lot. Really. Thanks okay. for your help. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Yeah. So what are you doing? Are you meeting Buzz for dinner? No, he's, he's going to company, do some paperwork. Why don't you and I go out and have dinner? It's a perfect night. Ross is with the kids in New York. Why don't we go and just work this thing through? You know, Mom, I'm going to have to take a rain check, all right? I'm sorry. OK, never mind. Never mind, I guess it's a little too early for you to want to deal with this. No, it's just that I have something to do. Yeah. Okay. All right, you know what, Mom? I'm sorry. You, we do. We should go out to dinner. Let's do it. What about that thing? It can wait. All right? Good. Danny, uh, huh? I can go now, right? Well, what's the rush? Stick around. Have a drink with me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, another time, all right, Danny? I, I gotta what? go find Mara. I'll oh, relax, Romeo. She'll show up eventually. You know, well, when she does, she better have a damn good reason for why she ran out on me. They always got damn good reasons, <laughs> don't they? Man, it's been a freaky couple of days, huh? Tony on the lam and Rick passing out like that out of nowhere. Crazy. The only bright spot is Abuela. Your grandmother? What, what's up? Well, you don't know. So the doctor says she's making this, this incredible recovery faster than they ever imagined. Really? Yeah, she's going to be talking full sentences before we know it. So she'll finally be able to tell us what went down the night Catalina was killed. Oh, that, that's terrific. Yeah, I'm glad. Um, so I'll see you, all right? You sure? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. OK. about you and, and how are we going to get you out of this mess? We have to go to the police. First, you got to stop it with this wee business. You are out of this now. Okay, I'm going to take care of it. Second, I have help already. I have my family. I got Danny, I got Ray, I got Carmen. They'll take care of me. I'm going to take care of you. So what? You're just going to... Hide here in the lighthouse and have them bring you food and stuff? Yes, something like that. All right, then how 
How can I help you? What can I do to help you? Stay away from Romeo, yes, I know that, but how am I going to stay in touch with you? We don't need to. Oh, yes, yes, we do. I'm not going to go home and not know how to contact you. You're right. You're not, you're not going to go home. You're not, you're not going anywhere. Excuse me? Ma, it's just too risky. You know, if the cops question you again, you might be tempted to, to answer them, to tell them the truth. And if you don't, they're going to see right through you. They're going to charge you with aiding and abetting, harboring a fugitive. That's assuming that this killer doesn't find you first. No, I'm sorry. You, call mommy, make up an excuse. You're staying here with me where it's safe. For how long? As long as it takes. Tony, I can't just stay here and not go home. You can and you will. And if I refuse, you can't hold me here against my will. You make that sound like it's a, a punishment. You and me, alone. How long? How long have we waited for this, Mona? Too long. And not long enough. Tony. God, if only you believed in me from the beginning like I believed in you, things would be so different now. If you take one more drop of blood from me or put that cold stethoscope on my chest, I'm out of here. Cold stethoscope, warm heart. Oh, man. How are you feeling? Really? Fine. I'm just fine. Okay. Fine enough to consult on a case? I could use a second opinion. Absolutely. Why not? Okay, okay I got weakness, shortness of breath, fever. Sinus tack, BP 96 over 60. Edema, JVD, Rawls. This is not good. Have you, uh, have you run an EKG, echo, chest x-ray, anything like that? Not yet. Well, you need to get on it. I mean, I don't have to tell you what this looks like. I mean, the, the symptoms are classic here. Well, looks like. Does that mean it could be something else? Well, let's hope so. I mean, if this patient's heart muscle is damaged in any way, you know what that means. I don't see a name here. What's this, what's this patient's name? It's you, Rick. It's you. This has been Guiding Light.